The Dictator game is a game in experimental economics, similar to the Ultimatum game the first developed by Daniel Kahneman and colleagues. Experimental results offer evidence against the rationally self-interested individual concept of economic behavior, though precisely what to conclude from the evidence is controversial. Description In the dictator game of the first player, the dictator determines how to split an endowment between himself and the second player. The second player, the recipient, simply receives the remainder of the endowment left by the dictator. The recipient's role is entirely passive and has no input into the outcome of the game. As a result, the dictator game is not formally a proper game. To be a proper game, every player's outcome must depend on the actions of at least one others. Since the dictator's outcome depends only on his own actions, this situation is one of decision theory. Despite this formal point, the dictator game is used in the game theory literature as a degenerate game. This game has been used to test the homo economicus model of individual behavior. If individuals were only concerned with their own economic well-being, dictators would allocate the entire good to themselves and give nothing to the recipient. Adults and children's behavior in dictator games Experimental results have indicated that adults often allocate money to the recipients, reducing the amount of money the dictator himself receives. These results appear robust. For example, Henrik Al discovered in a wide cross-cultural study that dictators do allocate a non-zero share of the endowment to the recipient. In modified versions of the dictator game, children also tend to allocate some of a resource to a recipient and most five-year-olds share at least half of their goods. If these experiments appropriately reflect individuals' preferences outside of the laboratory, these results appear to demonstrate that either dictators fail to maximize their own expected utility, dictators' utility functions may include non-tangible harms they incur, or Dictators' utility functions may include benefits received by others. Additional experiments have shown that subjects maintain a high degree of consistency across multiple versions of the dictator game in which the cost of giving varies. This suggests that dictator game behavior is, in fact, altruism instead of the failure of optimizing behavior. Other experiments have shown a relationship between political participation and dictator game giving suggesting that it may be an externally valid indicator of concern for the well-being of others. Challenges The idea that the highly mixed results of the dictator game prove or disprove rationality in economics is not widely accepted. Results offer both support of the classical assumptions and notable exception which have led to improved holistic economic models of behavior. Some authors have suggested that giving in the dictator game does not entail that individuals wish to maximize others' benefit. Instead they suggest that individuals have some negative utility associated with being seen as greedy, and are avoiding this judgment by the experimenter. Some experiments have been performed to test this hypothesis with mixed results. Further experiments testing experimental effects have been performed. Bardsley has performed experiments where individuals are given the opportunity to give money, give nothing, or take money from the respondent. In these cases most individuals far from showing altruism actually take money, and comparing the taking games with dictator games which start from the same endowments. Most people who give in the dictator game would take in a taking game. Bardsley suggests two interpretations for these results. First, it may be that the range of options provides different cues to experimental subjects about what is expected of them. Subjects might perceive dictator games as being about giving, since they can either do nothing or give, and so ask themselves how much to give, whilst the taking game might appear to be about taking for analogous reasons, so subjects ask themselves how much to take under this interpretation. Dictator game giving is a response to demand characteristics of the experiment. Second, subjects' behavior may be affected by a kind of framing effect. 
What a subject considers to be an appropriately kind behavior depends on the range of behaviors available. In the taking game of the range includes worse alternatives than the dictator game. As a result giving less, or even taking, may appear equally kind. Trust game. The trust game is similar to the dictator game but with an added first step. In the trust game, one participant first decides how much of an endowment to give to the second participant, and this amount is typically multiplied by the researchers. Then the second participant decides how much of this increased endowment to allocate to the first participant. Thus the dictator's partner must decide how much of the initial endowment to trust with the dictator. The experiments rarely end in the subgame perfect Nash equilibrium of no trust. In fact, a recent pair of studies of identical and fraternal twins in the USA and Sweden suggests that behavior in this game is heritable.